The heroin crisis gets worse in Maryland. Today, Governor Larry Hogan declares a state of emergency. WJZ is live. Political reporter Pat Warren reports on what that means. Pat? Well, Jess, he's declared a state of emergency to cut through red tape as numbers coming in indicate the opioid death toll in Maryland doubled last year. Heroin in Maryland. It didn't seem like anything was wrong. <laughs> And then my mom got the call. <laughs> Not Hollywood, Harford County, and a crisis all over the state. Nearly every family's been touched in some way, uh, either a direct family member or someone they love or someone they care about, a close neighbor. Um, you know, I had a family member myself who died of a heroin overdose. The final 2016 opioid death count is expected to reach 2,000. Governor Hogan today declared it a state of emergency. We need to treat this crisis the exact same way that we would treat any other state emergency. The state of emergency empowers state and local emergency management officials to fast track coordination between agencies, community organizations, the private sector, and nonprofit organizations. Working together to finally begin to turn the tide in this difficult fight. An additional $10 million a year will be dedicated to treatment and prevention. The governor is calling this an all-hands-on-deck approach to saving thousands of, of Maryland lives. I'm Pat Warren reporting live. Now back to you. Pat, thank you. The governor also wants to restrict the number of pills allowed in prescriptions for opioids. Seven other states already have those kinds of limits.